In this problem, we're told that we have an object hanging from a spring balance. The balance registers 30 newtons when it's hanging in air, 20 newtons when it's immersed in water, and 24 newtons when it's immersed in another liquid. We want to find what the density of that other liquid is. So we have our three cases illustrated here. In air, so we have our weight in air. In water, we have our buoyancy force plus our weight in water acting up. And in our other fluid, we have our buoyancy force, a different buoyancy force, plus the weight in that fluid acting up. The mass times gravity acting down in all cases. We can draw our free body diagrams. We can get our force balances. So the force, the vertical force, force up in water must equal the weight. The weight is what we measured in air. So we get that the buoyancy force is simply the weight in air minus the weight in water. And that we know is 10 newtons. In the other case, we have the different buoyancy force plus the weight in that fluid equals mg, which equals the weight in air. So we get that the second buoyancy force equals the weight in air minus the weight in that fluid. And we're told that that is six newtons. Writing these buoyancy forces out, so the buoyancy force in water is the volume times the density of the water times g. That's 10 newtons. The other case, we have the density of the fluid times the volume of the object times g equals 6 newtons. We can divide these two equations so we get that the density of water divided by the density of the fluid equals 10 newtons over 6 newtons. So it equals 5 thirds. So that tells us that density of the other fluid is 3 fifths the density of water. And so that's roughly 600 kilogram per cubic meter.